The ratchet mechanism, shown in this video, is a device that allows continuous rotary motion in one direction while preventing motion in the opposite direction. This mechanism consists of a round ratchet wheel with teeth and a pivoting gravity controlled finger called a pawl that engages the teeth. In this video, the ratchet wheel is shown as a red disc with teeth. The teeth are uniform but asymmetrical, with each tooth having a shallow slope on one side and a much steeper slope on the other side. The pawl, shown in the yellow, is free to rotate around a small shaft and can manually disengage from the ratchet if there is a need for it. As far as complexity is concerned, the ratchet mechanism is very simple device. However it is extremely hard to animate. You rarely see good animations of this mechanism and that is why I shied away from this kind animations. Since I do not like creating my animations frame by frame, the animation of ratchet was beyond my skill level. Recently I decided to use a collision detection library to achieve this, and here it is what I got. Notice how the tip of the yellow paw follows the contour of the red ratchet wheel. That would be very difficult to program if I were not using collision detection. In this video, we demonstrate the use of the ratchet mechanism for pulling a bucket from a well. When the operator turns the arm of a drum in the running direction, the teeth of the ratchet wheel are also moving in the same direction. During this rotation, the pawl easily slides up and over the gently sloped sides of the teeth. Gravity is forcing the pawl downward into the depression between the teeth as it passes the tip of previous tooth. You can hear the clicking sound of pawl when it falls into the depression. When the operator releases the drum arm, the weight of the water in the bucket will try to turn the drum in the opposite direction. However, the pawl will catch the steeply sloped edge of the first tooth it encounters, thereby locking it against the tooth and preventing any further motion in the opposite direction. Thus, the bucket will not fall back into the well, instead it will wait in its last position, so that the operator can catch his breath. The operator can then start moving the bucket after he rests. After, pulling the water from the well, operator empties the water into a container, turns the pawl to the release position, and sends the bucket back down the well, to continue its operation. Thank you for watching.